okay, so <laughs> both of you made your debuts on Broadway just last season. Yes. Yeah. And you both became darlings of the Great White Way, both nominated last year for the Tonys. You're nominated this year for one of the songs you did for uh, for the SpongeBob movie. Yeah. For the movie, the, for the movie. I'm sorry, the movie, the musical. It, the it's movie, hard, the it gets it mixed up because there are a lot of things on Broadway this year that are both were TV shows or movies and that are now very on Broadway. True. Yeah. That's very true. Uh, so, uh, did you always, did you dream of being on Broadway? Did you have like uh, a, that theater fever as a child? I think we both were theater kids. Yeah. We both definitely, like, you know, did shows in our living rooms. And I was lucky enough to go to an art school growing up. And so, you know, we would watch the Tonys when we were kids. And, and that was our inspiration. And we know when we're out there, a lot of young people are going to be watching the Tonys. And they're going to be looking at, at the shows that, you know, on Sunday night and thinking to themselves, maybe I could be there one day. We've actually, we're launching a campaign and we're doing it here tonight. Okay. On your show. Yeah. All right. It's called Hash. You love a campaign! No. Um, it's called hashtag Tony Dreaming, and we're inviting people to post pictures under this hashtag, and um, you, you might get featured on the Tonys. We want to see pictures of you in a school production. We want to know what roles you played, and we want to know what your dream roles would be if you were ever to find yourself at the Tonys one and day. And let's be honest, the more embarrassing, the better. The better. Yes, that's, yes. That's the, yes. The, the better chances but are. Clothed. Uh, Yo, yeah. clothes is yes. Yes. No, yes. oh, Calcutta, please. Yes. <laughs> well, um, I learned something uh, just recently. That was, I learned something troubling about you, uh, Josh Groban. Me. That before you were a singer, you were a magician. Well. Let me check your head for a scar. Thank uh -huh. you, yes. No. Uh -huh. Well, I was a struggling magician. I, I've always loved magic. Uh, I, um, as a kid, I wanted to be a magician. Before I had any heroes in the music world, my hero was Harry Houdini, and I really wanted to do... Really? Not like Doug Henning or David Copperfield or any of the people who were magicians when you were a little kid? Loved them, too, but I just... There was something about Houdini. I, I read all the books about him, um, the, es the escape artist that he was and all that. And, and so when I was actually a kid, I auditioned for the Magic Castle as a, for a junior member. Out in Los Angeles. Out in Los Angeles when I was like 11 years old. I wanted to be a junior member. And how'd it go? Horribly. <laughs> Um, I had a trick ready. I had like a disappearing quarter trick. There was a uh, handkerchief and a little box that it went in. I pulled up uh, a, a, someone from the audience who was also a child. And, uh, and the, because it was just a room full of children just trying to get into the magic castle. And the quarter fell on the ground. And the kid, yeah, thank you. Uh, the kid, you know, gave one of the ha ha on the ground. And. Actually, and, you know, you got to stand, like chefs say, stand by your dish. I had to stand by my trick. So I just, I picked up the quarter and went, ta-da. <laughs> <laughs> and I just sat sizzle, back down. Baby. I sat back down. Well, and I hoped I, I would fool them, but I did not. Well, um, uh, good luck this Sunday. I know you guys uh, have got a lot of rehearsing to do. Yes. Um, and I hope um, not to drop the quarter. This yeah. Don't so drop the quarter. So to speak. And um, <laughs> it's going to be it's going to be a great show. There's yeah. only one thing that bothers me about the the Tonys mm -hmm. is that so many of the shows this year are were based, as I said, on other forms like media, other shows like like Mean Girls or something like that. People are making musicals about things that weren't musicals, and I don't understand why nobody hasn't come along to make a musical. Of the Tonys about the Tonys. Hmm. Actually, Stephen, two people did. She means us, Stephen. John, hit it. Have you ever watched a movie and wished it was on stage? Or tuned into a TV show and wished it was on stage? Well, this year's Tony nominees you'll certainly adore. Because guess what? It's, it's stuff you've heard of before. before. It's not your year if you are some pretentious theater snob. Cause we've got Mean Girls, Frozen, and a little sponge named Bob. So got some thoughtful plays for your son or daughter. Like Junk or Iceman Comet. Or who are we kidding? Harry Potter! The theater transports you to a different place and time. Sunday, let's go celebrate this art that we hold dear. Anyone could win, cause there's no Hamilton this year. 
Let's hear it for the Tony. You're going to love what they got. Fashion Tony. The hardest part of EGOT. Gather your cronies. Turn off your phonies. Eat macaronis or dinner at Shoney's. Pay off your student loanies. Can I watch Game of Thronies? No. no. It's time, it's time for, for the Tony. Tony. It's Sarah and me. And you can watch us for free. That's great because Broadway tickets are really expensive. <laughs> Only see me.